This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey guys, and welcome back to Broome. We've just said goodbye to Eco Beach, just leaving now, one of the most beautiful places that we've stayed at here in Australia. But today we are off on the next adventure. just arrived at what feels like our own secluded rainforest. When I told you guys that we were coming to Broome, so many of you messaged us and told me you need to stay at the Billy. And I looked it up and oh my goodness, it looked amazing. So I booked us a massive glamping tent. I cannot wait to show you around. Hunter is currently having a nap and then we'll go inside. One hour later. So now that the little one's awake, we can finally show you where we are staying. So I was just thinking, if you're a family and you wanted to camp, and this could be a good option. I'll show you guys. <laughs> this <around>. is so. <laughs> the only thing close enough to the camping is that it's an actual tent. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's still really awesome. So, out here is like a little seating area and there's a barbecue. So, we're thinking tonight we're going to have a barbecue for dinner. As you see, see, it is camping, Steve. It's like zipper ten doors. Z the only thing is like there is aircon. <laughs> <laughs> so, come through here. This is our left. Well, I need to stand in the middle of this so you can see. So in our tent, we do have a king size bed. There is aircon. There is a ceiling fan. We also have a lounge room area. And not only that. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the suggestion, guys. This is a pretty cool spot. We have a kitchen and. <laughs> the best bit. The best bit. If you come through here. This reminds me of like when we were camping in South Africa. Yeah, this is what it reminds me of like some places in Africa when you're on safari, you can stay in glamping places like this. It's like around a little Australian safari. Um, so you come through here and there is a bathroom with a bathtub, but go look out there. This is the best bit. We have an outdoor shower. This place is pretty cool. I would say this is probably the coolest place to stay at in Broome. But we all know where little Hunter wants to go. Ah! The pool? You want to go to the pool, don't you? You've always been my queen. Oh, you want to come in? In your tight bed. Oh, my queen. I will need an arm of majesty. Oh, my queen. Until my legs get weak. Swish, splash, splash. Oh, and right down to the bottom. Oh, I mean, I don't know who left. The gigantic swan, but... <laughs> Like the last time that Jess and I had a barbecue was a year ago when we were in Byron Bay and this place totally reminds us with the little outdoor barbecue. So I'm heading into the town, grab some buns, grab some snags and as the sunset goes down, oh yeah. The town of Broome is literally at the airport. Jess packed so many hats, yet she didn't pack the most important hat. Where's my Chef Stephen hat? How am I gonna do this barbecue without the most important piece? You cry. I'm missing you to sleep tonight. I know it's strange and not the grass, the fact that we can understand the meaning of this life. Sometimes it's hard to find, but if we love it, tradition, love gotta have a barbecue if you guys come to Australia, or even if you come up to Broome. Sausage sizzle. Hello. Someone's just had her bath and is ready for bed. Let's yeah. say goodnight. Say goodnight, Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a face plan of a goodnight, guys. Okay, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Baby is asleep. Time to enjoy a sausage sizzle. Cheers. In the middle of a rainforest. 
this is so cool. This is the way I think as a family we should camp. Um, now on. Yeah, we got the tent. We got the cooking <laughs> utensil, which is a barbecue. I like it. Got nice seating. Gosh, <laughs> organized. I mean, if you call that campy, then yeah, I think anybody's up for it. Thank you so much to our good friends over at Squarespace for partnering up with us on this video and helping make this travel series up in Broome possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily create an online site, a website or blog. From their professional, customizable portfolio designs, gallery templates and powerful blogging tools like simultaneous posting means when you hit publish on your post, it goes straight out to Twitter, Facebook and other social media platforms. So I wanted to quickly take a moment to give back Vanessa, who is a fly in the nest, so actually created a Squarespace blog called These Stories, where she blogs about her travel tips, food ideas, and lifestyle tips as well. So if you have a Squarespace blog as well, make sure you leave it in the comment section below so I can check it out. And if you don't have your own website, make sure you check out squarespace.com for your free trial. And if you're ready to sign up, use our discount code linked in the description below to get 10% off your first purchase. Now back to the vlog. Morning, you two. Someone's a little bit chatty this morning. She survived her first time camping. Woo! You yes. look shocked. Here's your coffee. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning. How's camping? <laughs> so today we've come back to lunch at our favourite spot here in Broome. It's called Matzo's Brewery. They have amazing little tasting plates. We've ordered a bunch of food. But something else they also have is they have a tasting paddle full of their different types of beer. And this is the place that does our favorite ginger beer in brew. So we've got ginger beer, mango beer, a lemon kind of cider, and another one which is ginger chili beer. I think I need to try this chili ginger beer first. Bottoms up. Spicy. Oh, spicy? It just feels like someone's like dropped chili flakes into the ginger beer. <laughs> I need to try this chili beer. By the way, food's here, it looks amazing. I miss this place. What do you think? It tastes like Bundaberg. It's pretty it's spicy. Good. And that's and what that's makes it like good. like Bundaberg, because it's spicy. And it's usually from the ginger spice, but that has the chili spice. Yum, that tastes amazing. This spread looks so good. Fresh prawns, calamari, chips. Australian lunch. So it's another day in Broome and another red road. We just had a Google and we found out it is high tide and there is a place here that we've always wanted to check out called Roebuck Bay and people say you need to go at high tide. It is basically a place with turquoise waters. So those colors against the red dirt road is meant to look amazing from the air. It's more than just a season. It's a war without a reason. And I can seem to shake its ways. Wow, it almost looks like a turquoise painting. It's just such beautiful colors. The turquoise against the red and the orange. It looks so beautiful. And because of the mangroves, there's a lot of fish here. And I just see hundreds and hundreds of birds just flying around, which looks so cool. Also, there's this really cool phenomenon that happens two days out of the month when the full moon is happening. It's called Staircase to the Moon. Fortunately, we're not here during the full moon. Put up a picture so you can see what it's like, but you come down here to Roebuck and you can just look out. And it looks really cool. It's an awesome photo. Definitely gonna have to come back to Broome to add that to the bucket list so we can actually see it in person. You need to show them the little shots you got of Hunter down at Cable Beach tonight. When she was born, we bought these like little milestone cards from Etsy and every month we've been taking photos of her and she's two months at the moment and we just took some photos of her in front of the camels and she was holding the plaque. She's the like, best. I did not expect her to like hold it. She actually held it for like a good minute. So I was very impressed with her. <laughs> but we found out on Thursday nights here at Town Beach, they actually have these massive markets. Like we actually expected them to be very small and we thought, oh, let's come out and go grab some dinner. They are so big, I don't even know what to choose. There's like 15 food trucks. All right, found a little dumpling spot. Dumplings, stir fry noodles. 
homemade stir fry noodles. Is it good? That's really good. Yum. It tastes so cool. I didn't expect it to be so like lively and busy. Yeah, especially because Broome is like a pretty small town. This yeah, is... this is like the hot spot on the Thursday night. First time we're kind of out at night and Hunter is doing pretty good. She just like, songed out. I feel like if any first parents are watching us, you know the feeling. It's like any first. This is the first time we've gone out at night with Hunter. I was like, well, I wonder how she'll go because usually this is like her bedtime part. She's fast asleep, thankfully, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We still have one more video here in Broome. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.